This video is about awareness and safety, not instruction. We'll mention some dangerous tools, but only to help you protect yourself. These tools are illegal and can cause real harm. Even as a joke, using them can have serious consequences. Understanding threats is the first step to staying safe. Sometimes you stumble into these dangers by accident, as I did one late night. We're here to learn about defense, not offense. Now, let's set the scene. At 2 a.m., while most people slept, I was online, drawn into the glow of my computer screen. I started researching old messaging protocols and app vulnerabilities, moving through forums and discussions. That's when I first saw the term WhatsApp crasher. It immediately caught my attention. I found forums filled with technical talk and secrecy where these tools were openly discussed. The tools had playful names, but their purpose was to disrupt or break communication for others. Surprisingly, these tools were available on public sites, YouTube and GitHub, just a few clicks away. Some were labeled as pranks, others were clearly malicious, designed to cause real damage. All of them promised to overwhelm WhatsApp, making it freeze or crash. What shocked me most was how easy it was to access these tools. No barriers, just download links. They were offered freely, with no warnings or disclaimers. Many users, especially young or curious ones, could download them without realizing the risks. These tools can cause harm not just to others, but to the user as well. Here's a look into the world of WhatsApp crashing tools, where everyday apps become digital weapons. Please, do not search for or use these tools. The risks are real and serious. WhatsApp bombers like WWOOB or Laba Lobby flood your phone with messages, making WhatsApp nearly unusable. Crash code generators, such as vCard Crash or Text Repeater Pro, send special messages that can freeze or crash WhatsApp, locking users out. Some apps bundle multiple attack methods, making it easy for anyone to cause harm with just a few taps. Many of these apps are filled with malware, often harming the attacker more than the target. Even a simple string of unusual characters can crash older WhatsApp versions, showing how fragile the app can be. Infamous bugs like Black Dot spread quickly used for pranks or worse. In this fast-changing landscape, awareness is your best defense. Stay informed and protect yourself. Let's be blunt. Don't use, share, or download these tools. Attacking someone's phone is illegal and can lead to criminal charges. What seems like a prank could land you in serious legal trouble. Ethically, disrupting someone's communication is never a joke. You don't know what's happening in their life. Your prank could cause real harm. It's digital bullying, plain and simple. Downloading these tools also puts your own device at risk. Malware, spyware, and viruses are rampant. The free tool could be stealing your data or hijacking your device. By engaging, you become part of the problem, fueling demand for more malicious tools. The responsible thing is to ignore and report them. Don't give these tools attention, clicks, or an audience. The best defense is to starve this ecosystem of interest. Report what you see and move on. Protect yourself and others by refusing to participate. A WhatsApp crash might seem like a minor inconvenience, just a momentary glitch in your nightly routine, but the impact can be much bigger, setting off a chain reaction that affects more than just your device. For a small business owner, a message bombing attack could halt operations, cost sales, and damage reputation. Missing out on urgent orders or being unable to respond to customer complaints can mean lost revenue and trust that's hard to rebuild. In personal relationships, a crashed app can escalate misunderstandings or cause anxiety. Important conversations get interrupted, apologies go unsent, and plans fall apart. For someone already stressed, endless notifications or crashes can feel like targeted harassment. The constant buzzing and alerts can make it impossible to focus, sleep, or even feel safe. The sender may think it's a joke, but the recipient can feel unsafe and isolated. What seems funny to one person can be deeply unsettling to another, especially late at night. In critical moments, emergencies, deadlines, family check-ins, disrupted communication can have serious consequences. Missing an urgent call or failing to respond in time can change lives. The digital world is deeply tied to real life. You never know what's at stake. Even fixing the problem can cause loss. Uninstalling the app without a backup can erase years of memories. Photos, chats, and important files can vanish forever. 
The ripple effect of a single act can cause emotional distress, financial loss, and destroy irreplaceable data. What starts as a prank can end in real pain. It's never just a prank. Every action online has consequences, and sometimes those consequences are far more serious than you intended. The harm goes far beyond a frozen screen. Think before you act. The consequences are real, and the impact can last much longer than you ever imagined. The appeal of these tools is an illusion. Most rely on exploiting specific bugs. Once discovered, companies patch them quickly. It's a cat and mouse game, and developers almost always win. These tools become useless fast, pushing users to riskier versions and deeper into shady corners of the web. There's no real skill in using them, just running someone else's script. True technical skill is about building and defending, not breaking. The power these tools offer is hollow, annoyance, not creation. The risks, legal trouble, malware, ethical consequences far outweigh any fleeting satisfaction. The illusion of control fades quickly, leaving only negative outcomes. Real power comes from knowledge, responsibility, and creativity. Don't chase empty tricks, build real skills. The dead end isn't worth it. Protecting yourself is easier than you think. Keep your apps and device updated. Security patches close vulnerabilities fast. Practice digital hygiene. Be wary of strange links, files, or messages, even from friends. If you get a weird message, delete the chat without opening it. Use WhatsApp's block and report features to stop and flag bad actors. Reporting helps protect the whole community. Don't engage, just block and report. Trust only official support channels for help. Avoid third-party fixes. They're often scams. These habits build a strong defense against most digital threats. My late-night journey gave me new respect for those who build and secure our digital world. The real challenge in tech is building resilient systems, not breaking them. Security experts and ethical hackers work to find and fix vulnerabilities, not exploit them. Their work keeps us all safer. The internet thrives on creation, collaboration, and connection. The builder's mindset is about optimism and contribution. Using crash tools is destructive and cynical, the opposite of what tech should be. If you're curious about technology, channel it into learning, coding, or contributing to open source projects. The satisfaction of building something useful lasts far longer than the thrill of breaking. Real impact comes from creating, not destroying. Choose to be a builder. That's where the real value lies. As dawn broke, I closed those unsettling tabs. The digital world is shaped by our actions. Report abuse, warn friends, and stay vigilant. Update your software, be cautious, and treat others with respect. Together, we keep our online community safe. Let's look out for each other.